I'm Clint Hardy, the Davis County Extension Agent for Agriculture, and today we're on the farm of Tanner Stroop out off of New Cut Road in Maceo, uh, harvesting uh, early planted full season soybeans today. We've had a pretty roller coaster year. These beans were planted in early April. They came up very quickly um, and, and had a very successful crop here. Other areas of the county were delayed by a very wet May. And so we've got a wide spectrum. Today's the third of September. He's harvesting dry soybeans versus soybeans that were planted at the end of July in the county before so it'll be up into well in October, early November before those beans are ready to harvest. So um, we've got a wide planting date. We'll have a wide uh, yield range in the county this year for both corn and soybeans. Of course, the full seed, the early planted crops, these soybeans are finished. A lot of the corn is finished, but we have late planted soybeans that would benefit from rain. We still have some corn that has not black layered yet. It would benefit from rainfall. We're over a month now with no rain. The soils have gotten very dry. It's also been very challenging for our forages, for the uh, pasture that our cattle are grazing. It's gotten very dry on them. And it, I expect we'll begin to hear of, of some of the ponds beginning to be pulled down and may need to haul water to those animals. So yeah, here at the beginning of September, we are in need of a rain. We've really almost been a month ahead, it seems like, of normal environment for this area. We began in May and March with dry soils, warm skies. It almost felt like May a few month, days in the month of March. These plant beans, this field was planted at the very beginning of April, but thousands of acres of soybeans and corn were planted in the last days of March. Those crops have dried down as these have, and harvest is well underway, beginning even in August last week for some farms. What's very unusual on that is the, the, the grain moisture. Uh, typically, we would not see corn below 20% moisture up until at least the second week of May. We had corn below 20% moisture uh, last week, the last week of August. Haven't had that since 2012 during the drought year. So it's good. They're gonna save on some drying cost that elevator charges or on-farm drying that they may otherwise have to pay to dry that corn down from moistures. Um, so they're gonna save some money from that standpoint, which is helpful this year with the low prices. I expect that between the very good crop that we have and the crop that's suffering now because of the rain, our final overall yield, or suffering from lack of rain, I think our final overall yield will just be average at best. And our prices, for those who haven't kept up with it, are at 15 year lows right now. And so it's gonna be a very challenging um, year from a, from a farm financial state, statement for, for many people. Uh, we're, we need high yields. Unfortunately, some of these farms, I don't think are gonna provide that yield just because of the late planting coupled with that dry August and now uh, forecast dry September. So I think we'll see these yields pull down uh, as we progress through harvest.